Welcome. This is our new place. In numerology, our address adds up to three. So I love that for mind, body, and soul. Um, this pumpkin is thriving ever since last month. And this is a little thank you. And I have my ancestry pod. I got flowers for the place just to welcome it. And I have my broom so I can sweep out my entryway to make sure I have clear energy flowing into my home. So we're about to enter. And I just love this place. The entryway is big. Like if if look at magic you better stay on in there go 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 magic used to be a street cat as far as at our last place i would let him leave every day and he would come back well when it was time to move here he didn't want to come i had to wake up at four o'clock in the morning to get him to bring him here so he's no longer allowed to be outside so this is the entryway I love it. Let me give you guys a full view. It's just huge. You see, I got my broom above my door. I don't play. That's right. We don't play. Not here. So this is the entryway. I guess that would be the foyer. This is the living room, big and open. And that's my workstation. As you can see, I, I enjoy work so much just because I have those windows. This is my bedroom. So... This is the floor plan we wanted where that's the patio over there. That's the cat and the dog station. The cats and dog eat the same food. That's what I love. It's just a big co-op around here. This, that's the kitchen area. But anyways, about our floor plan, I love it because that is my roommate, AKA daughter's space. And then this is the kitchen. And that is the laundry room. And that's, you know, our little pantry. The pantry, I love this. This is like my station right here because I have my plant medicine and tea and stuff in here, and my smoothies and stuff like that. Magic, come on out of there. This is the laundry room, really big laundry room. Really big laundry room. The kitty litter moves. Sometimes it's outside. This is where the cats hang out at night when we're asleep. They're pretty trained. So now I'm about to take you into my space. My sanctuary. Welcome to Moon's World. So we have only lived here so far a week. Sunday, Monday, maybe a week and three days we've lived here. So this is our new space. When I first enter my room, what you're looking at is my Kundalini, Kundalini yoga altar and where I practice my yoga. And you can see my mat. This month's affirmation is I am powerful for that space. I do need a clothes hamper, so I don't have that yet. I have hung up one of my first vision boards that's just pretty much art in which you don't get caught up on like pictures and stuff like that. So I've had that vision board since December of 2019. This is the window, my big window, my dream catcher. My bed, I love my bed. It's a big old day bed. I think it's a queen size day bed. I love it because I used to have a day bed growing up and just so much fun happened in that room. So I have a big old day bed and you know, I love quilts. I'm going to put a toy box over here for my toys and for my Yaya Boys toys. This is like my nightstand that I just move, I eat or if, you know, I just unwind. I like this. I never thought I would really like something like this, but it goes to the ceiling fan and I can, Cut the lights off or cut the lights on. And honestly, I um, did not think this would be something like I actually cared about, but I actually, I do. Like when I'm ready to go to sleep. Now I'm about to show you my favorite, one of my favorite spots in my room. 
where I practice yoga, I mean not yoga, uh, my tarot practice, where I practice my with my crystals, my candle magic, where I study at, this is my space. Instantly the space came together like instantly for me. My TC mom, little Bridget, my very first advertisement that I ever made. This is my space where I'm studying. This is what I'm personally studying this week, meditating on for the new moon. Happy new moon. What? New moon is Sagittarius? I almost forgot. But this is my space. Yes. I want to point this out because when I first started vlogging, this is used to be my stand. That's what I could find at Walmart. That's what I could afford. And I just really never understood why I had this stand, but I knew it was meaningful. And the minute I moved here, it just instantly clicked. And I knew goddess and God was like in the midst of this because it goes here. It was made for this space. I have my candle magic in there and my journals. My other favorite space, second favorite space is my bathroom, my sanctuary. I love this space. This is where some magic happens, where I practice my mirror work and my affirmations for my chakras and my jewelry that has been gifted to me and that I have bought that serves as a protection to me. And this water fountain was gifted to me by one of the guys I have dated in my vow of celibacy. You guys might remember I talked about one of my updates when I met him, I just felt like he opened me up and it was a flow. I think it was his water fountain what I was, was seeing. So this is a mood for me. I yoni steam in here. I don't have a shower curtain yet because I just take baths and my toys. This is the goddess wall. These are the goddesses I'm sitting with. These, this was my first deck that I gifted myself when I started my vow of celibacy. So these are the goddess I'm sitting with and stay groovy was a gift. That's my mushroom medicine. You can get mushroom medicine any way. It does not have to be ingested. And my second degree in educational studies, which I love because I love to learn, like what, what other degree to get the one in learning? <laughs> and now the next space that I'm gonna take you to, this is my prayer closet. <laughs> Look, Wakanda. Ever. I love this closet. I just love coming in this bathroom. It's, it gives me so much luxury is what I feel when I come in here because cribs. <laughs> so this is where I come and pray in my altar. And this is the spread I'm working with. I'm just, this is how I work with it, but I have it out there where I study it too. My record player, my daddy put me on to record players and my journals that I have written. All right, this is, all right, I need to put that artwork up. One of my first poems, this is just books. So I don't have much clothes. I'm not really into clothes. I'd rather be naked, but that is what it is. These are some of my tools and this is my space. So yeah, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so the patio. I forgot to do the patio for y'all, so this is a bonus. This is the patio. I love it. I haven't really got to sit out here because Texas has been giving me Washington State weather as far as it's raining. I brought my tree stump with me from the last place. You know, I got to stay rooted and grounded. A little bit of plants. I wish you guys can see it, which I don't think you'll be able to see. But inside of this Jack and the Green and the Beanstalk plant, there is a bird's nest in there. And at the last place, you know, I was a doula to the ducks. So I don't, and you know, I found pea tree. So I'm hoping duck, I'm hoping that, um, that's the bird's nest. I'm hoping some bait, some, um, I get to be a doula to some birds. That'd be amazing. Look at that. That's the Beanstalk right there. I'm gonna climb to the top. 
And my son is allowing his grill to hang out on my patio, the pool when the Yaya boys come over. So this is the patio. Yeah. If you haven't, please click like. If you haven't, please click subscribe. And if you haven't, please leave a comment below. Thank you.